Hi there, so in this video I'm going to have a go at making the steam chest and cover. So this is the steam chest and the first thing to do is to mill the sides to dimension. Now the sides need to be um, 29 30 seconds of an inch apart. Um, so what I've done here is I've used my vise to line it up on the centre of the bosses and then I've taken a measurement from the top of the vise of um, 29 60 fourths of an inch and mark that. So what I'll do, I'll mill down to that mark and then um, I'll calculate the proper distance from that milled edge. Okay, so that's one side faced. So now it's just a matter of uh, marking 29 30 seconds of an inch from the bottom. And it's just a matter of uh, putting it in the vise with some parallels underneath and machining down to that line. So I'll do that off camera. So to mark out the sides I've used the same method as before. And the way to centralise this in the vise, what I've done is um, I've measured the diameter of this boss to be 0.375. So I've taken half of that which is 0.1875. And then zeroed the gauge at the top of the vise and then measured to make sure that that is 0.187.5 above the jaw and I've done uh, the same I'll use the same method on this side this is 0.252 in diameter so half that 0.126 and the top of that is 0.126 higher than the vice so now all I need to do is to mark out the um, line to which I need to mill to. Okay so I've milled all four sides to uh, the proper dimension and then placed it in this four jaw chuck and centered it, centered it on the boss and now I need to uh, face the end of the boss, uh, machine it to five sixteenths of an inch in diameter, uh, clean up the front face and uh, take about one thirty second of an inch off to bring it down to uh, around about 11 30 seconds in length and uh, then I need to uh, start some drilling Okay, so that seemed to work okay. Now the plan here is to drill um, a three thirty seconds of an inch hole um, right through and half an inch into the other end. Now on the plan of the other end it suggests a 0.7 of an inch uh, diameter hole but a 0.7 of an inch drill bit won't reach from this side. So if I drill it bigger at three thirty seconds um, I can then at uh, some point later uh, create a bush that will be 330 seconds outside diameter an internal diameter of 0.7 of an inch Now then, it's just occurred to me that I've uh, not faced off this end here. And this end needs to be um, 1 and 5 sixteenths of an inch from this other end. So what I need to do is take off about 27 thou on this side. And then um, I'll need to take 27 thou off the other side when I've sort of switched it round. So what I'll do off camera is 
take 27 thou off here and then take 27 thou off there to make sure that the, the length of the boss is um, 11 30 seconds if that makes sense so this is a 4.2 millimeter drill bit I need to uh, drill to a depth of uh, round about a quarter of an inch so that's 6.5 millimeters and then I'll tap it to 3 sixteenths by 40 So I've threaded the other end and uh, I've switched it round in the four jaw chuck and now it's a matter of taking uh, around about 27 thou off this face here to bring it down to an overall length of um, 1 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so that seems to have worked out okay. Everything's uh, to dimension. Uh, all I need to do is to tidy up these sharp edges. Um, but so far that completes part four of um, Tubal Cane series. So now onto the steam chest cover. Okay, so this is the uh, steam chest cover. And I'm just going to take uh, probably 20, 30 thou off the front just to clean it up. OK, so using a surface plate and an angle plate, I've uh, marked out the position of the six holes around the edge. And they need to be drilled to um, 2.7 millimetres to give clearance for 7BA studs. And the centre needs to be drilled to 4.2 millimetres, which I'll uh, tap to 3 sixteenths of an inch by 40 TPI. Now the instructions suggest a quarter inch tap but tubal cane suggests uh, 3 16 by 40 so that's what I'm going to go with. I've already drilled a 4.2 millimeter diameter hole. Now it's the first time I've, I've ever tapped uh, using this mini mill. Uh, and you can't do it under power it'll go too quick. However um, what I've done is I've put the tap in this chuck and I've loosened the R8 um, shaft uh, so it's still supported by the bolt at the top, uh, but there's movement in it. So I th the idea is, I'm just going to try turning it like that and let it sort of go down with its own weight. So if I go like that, and then turn it, I'm hoping it will just... 
start to tap. So I think that's probably threaded it, because um, I went quite a way down. However, I'll just um, use the uh, final tap, just to make sure. Okay, so it's uh, very important that these holes are drilled um, in, in a direct line, um, as they're visible. So, um, I've brought the Y-axis forward, um, 11 30 seconds of an inch, and I worked that out to be uh, 8.73 millimetres. So I'll centre drill that, and then drill it with the uh, 2.7 millimetre drill bit. Then I'll move the um, X-axis across here, to the right hand side, uh, 35 64 of an inch which I work out to be 13.89 millimetres and I'll continue sort of using that approach and the same maths to drill the rest. Well that seemed to go very well, everything nice and symmetrical. So what I need to do now is reduce the thickness of this down to about an eighth of an inch. So I need to take about 50 thou off. Okay, so the cover's turned out uh, pretty good. I've used some wet and dry to uh, tidy up the front and the back. And I've also filed the sides so that they fit the chest. So that's all looking good. However, got a little bit of a quandary now because this boss here is offset and I'm guessing from Tubal Cain's diagram that the it's offset towards the cylinder so it would make this face the top face however the the diagram in the uh, assembly instructions that came with the kit sort of seems to sort of imply that it might be the other way around with the boss being offset that way. Now that's probably just the way it appears and it's probably not wholly accurate. Um, so before I start drilling holes here I need to make sure that that configuration is correct. So what I'll do is uh, I'll probably uh, seek some help and advice on the model engineers forum to see whether anybody can uh, confirm that the configuration that I think is right is in fact correct. Well I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, I mean I posted my question on Model Engineer Forum about an hour and a half ago and I've already got two replies. And both replies were on the same basis of applying logic. And um, they basically said well look, look at the valve, the size of the valve, the size of the nut that's going to hold that valve in place and you can work out how much space you need um, between the hole and the side of the valve and um, if you work out the maths um, it's clear that if the boss is closer to the cylinder there's not enough space so that means you've got to have the boss closest to the chest cover Okay, so to line up the cover with the chest, I've decided to put this nut and bolt through with a big washer at the back. So that's fairly tight, and it's all lined up. Um, so what I'll do now is just drop this into the milling vise, and I'm going to use the same drill I used here on these corners, just to try and spot mark them or whatever the term is through here and we'll see how we go um, I mean if it all seems to go okay I might drill right through I'm not too sure these holes here um, will be tapped so I think it's a, a 2.1 millimeter drill bit we'll be using there 
which will be drilled partially through. Um, anyway, let's see how we get on. So I've decided I'm just going to uh, spot drill through these holes and then I'll take the casing off and then I'll drill uh, 2.8 millimeter diameter holes on each corner and the central ones will be 2.1 millimeters for tapping. And the centre holes 2.1 millimetres. So these will be tapped to a 7BA. Okay, so to uh, drill and tap uh, into the cylinder, Tubal Cane suggests clamping this to it somehow, but I can't work out how to do that. So what I've done is I've um, transfer punched one of the holes by holding it in the right location and then I've marked out the position of the other holes. Um, now I've, I've put the cylinder in the vise and I've just put this gauge on it to make sure it's truly flat, which it is. So um, I'm going to commence drilling, um, well first centering and then drilling 2.1 millimeter holes which will then be tapped to a 7BA. So this is doing the 7BA tapping and I bought this little tapping guide the other day. It's spring loaded and it's working quite well. This is only tapping to um, a depth of an eighth of an inch. Well, I've put the four studs in and it fits together very nicely. Now I've tapped these two holes to 7BA and apparently Stuart models they um, provide set screws, as I understand it, uh, but um, Tubal Cane says that there should be studs like these, so I'll make some studs off camera. Um, and the cover goes on, and there you go. Really happy with that result. Well, that was a very uh, interesting exercise, um, and I can't thank you enough, the guys on the uh, Model Engineer Forum. I mean, they, they really came up trumps. Um, I, I posted my query, and within an hour and a half, I got a couple of guys replying, uh, both on the same basis, um, as to uh, how to find you know, the answers to my problem. Um, and it worked out really well. So I, I just can't thank him enough. Um, so, uh, what did I learn? Oh, um, this little spring-loaded device for tapping, I thought it worked great. Um, never used it before. Uh, but I think you get better feel and control. Um, it's the first time I, I just turned this, I loosened the uh, R8 um, mechanism and just let the uh, weight sort of feed the tap um, but I found that with it being heavy you, I didn't feel as though I'd got control over it but this seems really really good so very happy with that and I just can't believe how I managed to get all the studs uh, exactly perpendicular um, I'm really really happy with the result uh, and the overall fit is superb so um, I hope you like it.